Well, hello there, you wonderful humans. And welcome back to the Oregon Trail. 2022 version. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Uh, sorry, a little, a little late. <laughs> a, a little late. Uh, but we left off here. Three wonderful beans left on our wagon train. Pretty much the worst beans that could ever travel across the Great Oregon Trail. Somehow still alive. Uh, we are here waiting to uh, fjord this river. So, uh, a dangerous point in our journey, shall we say. A very dangerous point indeed. Left us off at a bit of a cliffhanger last we were here. Um, now I believe, yeah, it's still rapid, 6.4 feet. Um, we can cock the wagon, we can do all the things. Uh, but I think we're gonna look at, see how many hides we have at the moment. We have 15 hides and a freaking accordion. The accordion's gonna get wet and we're gonna lose it. Uh, Tishy, thank you for the six months. Great news. Oh my god, Jarena, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay, anyways. Um, what do we got here? We can cross. You know what? Let's just cross. I think we're gonna do fine. Uh, we're gonna caulk the wagon. We're at 43%. Um, we're going to seal the wagon with five pelts, and then we're gonna seal it with another five pelts. We're at 66%, and now all we need to do is probably just rest and wait for the conditions to improve. 70%. We're losing a little bit of meat and flour each day, but you know what? That's not bad. We got moderate depth 4.7 feet. Four feet and slow. You know what? We're just going to go and do it right now. Cock the wagon and cross the river. 75%, right? 75 freaking percent. The party prepares the wagon, removing the wheels and making the bed watertight. Watertight. Uh, okay, there we go. I was like, we're not getting the little cutscene of crossing the river. Did we die before even going in? Oh no, did we not make it? Oh my god. Despite the wagon not being completely sealed, the party managed to cross the river without their supplies suffering any water damage. The result born purely of luck, perhaps, but sometimes that's exactly what one needs to survive the trail. Sweet Peach, thank you for the 28 months. Best odds we've had this series, so we're gonna die now, <laughs> right? Right? Ugh, but for those of you that are just joining along right now, we are playing on the Oregon Trail's most hardest difficulty, the Wagon Leader. I'm playing Breath of the Wild to 100% for the first time, I must say I am now a Breath of the Wild master. Ooh, we should totally do another Breath of the Wild series as well. Nothing went wrong, and that does not bode well. Oh my god, you are so right. And Tay Tay, hiding in the, the vaccination room. Oh, uh, The meanest customers have asked the front store staff how often I'll be back, and they flat out said, actually, this pharmacist thinks this store is so toxic she never wants to be here again. Oh, wow. Ooh, Tay Tay. Sweet baby Jesus. Tay Tay, I hope you're doing all right. Ugh. I'm sorry you're having a rough day. Oh yeah, I forgot we still only have one ox. How are we even surviving right now? Oh my god, we need more fish because we need more money so we can upgrade our wagon and get more oxen. With Snake River Cro- uh, Tay Tay, thank you so much for the super chat, by the way. I hope the rest of your day goes better. Ugh. Gotta love toxic things. And it's great that they actually know that as well. Like, good lord. <clears throat> with Snake River crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation. They only hope the trails to come all to stress, 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 trials. Trails, trials. Ah, <laughs> uh, we've got Emily, Kayla, and Misty. Nobody's stinky. Nope. <laughs> really? An infernal whining fills the air. Swarms of mosquitoes plague the party, borne on the wind from the nearby water. They assault any exposed skin, covering the party in itchy bites. Great. Literally the second I said it. All right, so we got everybody a little stinky now. A musty, sour odor emanates from the wagon, betraying the poor quality of the flower within. Great. You know what? We're going to discard the 24 flower. We've never used the hard tack ever. I'm praying I don't play with any more knives. I'm supposed to be trained in knife safety. Oh my god. Misty, how are you doing today, you wonderful bean? 
Coral Island was updated recently. Oh, Emily, thank you for the heads up on that. Greetings, travelers. We see many of you out this way these days. Would you be interested in trading for our fish? If you're worried about what to trade for, do not fear. We've taken to using... Okay, wait. Um, purchase items or go fishing? Well, we're going to go fishing first. I think. Oh, we have seven bait. I need more bait. Maybe we can buy some baits. Um, the fish are going to go right there. Purchase items. I would like to buy bait. And maybe some fish traps, too. Ten for twenty? Oh my god. Sir. That is expensive. Buy ten for ten? That's better. Twenty for twenty? We'll do twenty for twenty. And then purchase items. Fish traps? Buy one for fifteen? If it only gives me 15 fish, then I break even. Hmm. Jesse, what it do? Caitlin, Amanda. Broken. I'm doing great, thank you. Oh, hell yeah, Misty. Smug! How are you doing? Started playing High on Life last night, and oh my god, it's hilarious. I can imagine Tag playing it and being like... Hmm. High on life. Let me pull that up on Steam real quick. Store page. I'm assuming it's on Steam, right? High on life? It's not on Steam. Where is this game you speak of? Is it a Nintendo Switch game? All right, we'll buy one for that. And we'll use it. Go fishing. Eight. Hey. Neptune. And we're gonna have Misty go fishing today. Misty's a good fisher. Petties. Oh boy. Cat's just asking for some trouble. Alright, we want big fish. But any fish really will do. Beware of DMCA with High on Life. Oh, great. The all four incher. Free on Game Pass? Interesting. Oh, great. A seven inch boot. This is going splendidly for us. Alright, maybe we just take a little bit more time and look for the sparkly fish, instead of just trying to rush it out, you know? Because that's typically what we're doing. This is a big thick one down here. You found it on Steam? It's called High on Life? Ah, the Utah Chub! Haha! <laughs> Maybe we'll play that later. Ooh! The cutthroat trout. Yes. It was blocked for first for gore, gore and violence. High on Life has four full length movies in it you can watch. What? That's cray cray. Man, we are not doing good on the fishing today. We may have wasted a bunch of money. How's Emily doing today? <laughs> Emily's doing pretty good, Emily. <sighs> Except for these god dang frogs. Tazman, hey Tag and Commuter, missed a few streams, but as of this past Saturday, you're officially engaged. Oh, dang. Welcome to the danger zone. No, just <laughs> Congratulations, that is so awesome. I wish you and yours the very, very best. My plush found its way here finally. I'm so excited. Hope everyone is having a great day. Oh hell yeah, Jesse. Very nice. Whoa, the Pacific Lamprey. Never seen one of those before. Hmm. 
Ooh, the short nose sucker. This fishing hole sucks butts. Oh ho ho! Trophy quality pink salmon. Mm. I watched the video where Emily got cholera while I was at work and I was cracking before time you screamed at her. <laughs> what a disaster. Abarandra had surgery yesterday. Oh no. It didn't go as planned as I was fearing. Went there with the diagnosis from a specialist, but apparently they didn't read it. So now I might have to have the same surgery again in a few weeks. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That is crazy. This is why I never want to go to the doctors. I will just die and just not know what's wrong with me. That's how things will end for me. Oh, we don't have a... We don't have a thing. We don't have a knife. We need to make sure to bring a kniffy with us from now on. Oh wait, we can sell fish here too? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, yes, that seems fair. After a short discussion, the parrot- Oh, yes! So we can actually make a bunch of money here, too. Okay, so we have enough now, a hundred percent, for our big freaking wagon. And Kayla, thank you for upgrading to a super bean. Look at that blue Corgo. Thank you so much. But yeah, no, Aberandra, that's insane. Like, they literally have one job. A flock of ducks suddenly scatters into the air from the water near the trail. If they are quick, someone- Aha! God, you all suck! Emily! Emily draws the rifle quickly and fires a shot at the flock. Unfortunately, her aim is off and the shot goes wide, missing the ducks. Probably shot some stranger on the trail. Everybody stinks. Y'all are a bunch of freaking heathens. Disgusting. Garbage humans. Wait, y'all need some Jesus. Hold on. Forgot we had a Jesus book. Baby Link is feeling sick. Aw, Smokey. Definitely shot a stranger on the trail. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, Tay Tay, that sucks. Uh, hopefully things get better. Did we make it? Did we do the thing? I think we got a fjord another river. But we only have five pelts this time. What is this guy? Is he taking like a- he's trying to fight a snake. Look at him. Look at this idiot. I hope you get bit, you fool. It's a salesman, huh? I say, are you interested in purchasing one of my fine musical instruments? They're very reasonably priced. Do you have a fiddle? A fiddle, you say? Certainly. I happen to have a fiddle in excellent condition right here, and only for one hundred dollars. Can you do better? Of course. I'm a reasonable man, after all. Let's see, how does eighty dollars sound? Uh, can you do thirty? Oh ho ho ho! I can see you're smart very well. I'll lower the price to just fifty dollars. You know what? We're gonna go with fifty bucks. I'm rolling in cash. He probably would have gone cheaper, but you know what? I got the fiddle. Um, and now we can trade? Trade supplies. Ooh, four pelts. Oh, some wheel grease. Mmm. Oh, literally, that's all of our food. The dude bro wants all of our food. 288 flour. That gives me 100 pounds of flour left. We're gonna spend $700... How close are we on the trail to the thing? I think if I... Oh, yeah, we still gotta go all the way here to Fort Boise. Oh. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one. Okay. 
Um, uh, some wheel grease. We're gonna be buying a new wagon anyways. Uh, let's see what the river's looking like. Extreme! Alright, well, we're gonna need some pelts. 147 flour. If we can go down to one medicine, I'll do it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Cha -cha -cha. Ooh, one dragoon medallion. Do that instead. Mm, 48 bullets. Three toolboxes. Hmm. It's not worth that. That wagon grease is not worth that much flour. It's just not. Especially because we need to sit here and we're going to probably go through 50 pounds of food just waiting for the river to slow the hell down. 34%, huh? Oh, Christ on a muffin. Continue. 45%. Oh, 51%. Mmm, 54. 57! Extreme, still, still extreme. This is the nightmare. Just lost my remaining two players, one at each snake crossing. Oh my god, no, what did they drown? Sixty-two percent. Oh god, we are just plowing through the food though. This is why we, we- it was a really good idea, we did not trade that away. 65%. We're just gonna keep- we have so much food! We need a, a, over 70%. 71%. Current slow, depth 5.5 feet. How tall is a wagon? Hmm. We just used almost 100 pounds of food just sitting here. Oh, God. Let's do it. 71%. 30% chance of somebody dying. When you say it that way, that's a lot of chance for somebody to die. We got you, Tay-Tay. We'll start streaming more. Snake River 2 out of 2, Bobby! Bobby? Bobby? 29% chance for- Touche. Touche. Four Boise! 50 melees. We've got a fruit thing and a question mark. We're gonna go to the question mark. Ugh. With Snake River crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation. They only hope the trials to come aren't as treacherous. I believe that was our final river crossing of the game. So that means we don't have to save up on thingy-maboobs anymore. It seems the ox has cracked. It's the, our only ox. Oh Christ, Misty! Thank you, God. Oh, that sounds like a success. In time, the rushing waters. Have their desired effect. The ox is ready to ramble once more. Thank you, Jesus. It's our last ox. Mm. No signs of infection. We're just straight cro- Oh, God. I was just gonna say, you know, we're gonna go grueling. Because I feel like they deserve that at this point. I think that adds more damage to the wagon, though. Ooh, never seen one of those before. And we might actually get the 100 pounds of meat that we need. Oh, hi, Aragon. Why are you all poofy-tailed? What are you doing? What you looking all crazy for? Blah! Give me the meat. Give me the meat. Break me off a piece of that deer. Ooh, by sound. Mm, got it. Oh, I just missed it. 
Boom. 120 pounds. That's all we can carry anyways. Megan, thank you for becoming a majestic bead. Look at that purple Corgo. Thank you so much. That means we got 100 pounds. And we'll obtain 6 pelts, 5 pelts. Fort Boise. Boy, howdy. Oh man, it's finally clear out today. Good to see you again. It's been a while since we met. I hope you're in good mood for some music. Now, I've written some lyrics for the show tonight, but I think they'd be even better with some inspiration from your travels. Tell me everything that's happened. Louis Southward pulls out a scrap of paper and starts taking notes. Scrap, scrap, with the 28 months! Rough travels, huh? Tell me about it. I've had a hard time keeping up with James. The man doesn't let me rest. Well, forget about that. Are you ready to hear some real music? We got the whole freaking band together. Well, I left the farm down to I'm not going to sing this. With my fiddle under my chin. He said, quit that violin. Oh my god, we finally did it though. I thought my Bowen would have set him straight. I can't read fast enough because I'm stupid. Came up with a plan to start the new band. They did get a full-blown band. We did such a good job. Look, everybody is having a great time. And we got our three... Very special humans over here. Oh, Amanda, I hope you feel better. I would sing it, but I don't know the beat to the song. I know there's a banjo. Back from wasting heartbeats. <gasps> How dare you be wasting heartbeats like that. Man, this is a long song. They got a fiddler and everything. Oh, Mark, thank you for the eight months. I found a new fiddle. I like that I just read, like, one or two words from the song. The party takes some time to relax and enjoy the performance. That should, like, up everybody's morale if it's not up already, right? Great show, huh? It felt good being on stage again, like old times back on the farm. Looks like we brought in $200, not bad at all. So how about I pay you back for that fiddle? I think you said it cost you 50. Exactly. Oh wait! I should have, like, declined- I should just get- I have so much money. You didn't need to give me $50. Look me up when you get to Oregon. If I earn enough money, I'm going to buy my freedom and then some land. I have my own farm where some people aren't allowed to be so particular about fiddle music. Just you wait. Maybe I'll even give fiddle lessons. Lou Southwick grins another of his wide grins and bids the party farewell. Anthony! I'm full of your chili recommendation. Is LJ alive? <laughs> Anthony, I'm glad you made some chili. Did it come out good? And waste the heartbeats? Chronic heartbeat waster? Don't do it. It's a trap. And no, LJ... LJ did live. They made it to Oregon, which I'm super upset about. We tried our best to kill LJ. Enough rage. Hope y'all beautiful beans have a better day than me. Aw. Ooh, we unlocked the musician class doing that. Okay. Okay. And M's, for all the sick beans, I prescribe bed fluids. Bed fluids? Bed comma fluids? And tag back TV. Get better soon. Also, not a doctor for legal reasons. Ems, thank you for the super chat, you wonderful bean. Tripping all over the s uh, over a small bump in the ground, Misty finds herself in the dust. God dang it, Misty. No broken bones, though. I had to make the chili, too. My kids demanded it. Did it come out? Fire. But your name is EMS. <laughs> I see what you did there. <clears throat> Yes, comma fluids. <laughs> Amalia, thank you for the nine months. How are you today? It came out fire of both ends. Sometimes that's how it'd be. Let's 
seen me rolling. Hey, in. Trying to catch me wagging in the trail dirty. Cuddling the fur babies, nice. The curious shape of Fort Boys it looms large as the party approaches. A hulking walled quadrangle. His brickwork fortifications have long since dried and cracked in the sun. Uh, we would like to heal, I guess. Uh, Emily is low on stamina for some reason. I don't know if that's... We're going to heal Misty. She has the most things to heal. Four boysy. It's snowing for the third day in a row. Hot diggity dang. Continue. What you gonna do with that big cat butt? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Mmm. It's $750 now. Shoot! That's expensive. Alright, we're gonna get some food. We got some meat. Uh, let's see, miscellaneous, we're gonna get a knife. Ooh. I don't think the knife is worth it. I think we're gonna need wagon wheel grease, add to wagon. I would much rather have wagon grease than the knife. Especially for how expensive it is. I kind of really want the shirts too, but... Hmm. Mm. Maybe three repair kits. Man, we're now broker than a dollar store hooker, but worth it. Absolutely worth it. Now the question is, do we need any soyvices? A physician, perhaps. Nope. Fun fact, Fort Boise is still here, and my marching band used to practice there, loving the series as I lurk and work. I know, I always think about that uh, whenever we talk about Fort Boise. <laughs> I'm like, I think this place still exists. And Chelsea, thank you so much. Put on the fishnets and dance then? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ix freaking excuse me. Everybody just needs to rest. We Gucci. Uh, let's see here. Do we need the trade? Oh, I can sell the pelts though. Mmm, two wagon wheel grease. Haggle. For 214 flour, huh? That would give me... Oh, 29 bullets for two wagon wheel grease. Mm. How many bullets do I have? How much flour do I have? Hmm. We have many decisions here. I'm gonna- I gotta look and see what I actually have. We have... Uh, just over 200 flour. And we have one pelt. We have four med- oh, we have six pelts. Six shirts. Couple coffees. And some bullets. Let me- if I can buy more bullets... Mmm, trade. We're gonna try and sell the pelts. There we go. I would really like more things before we leave. That's $36. That gives me enough to buy more bullets. We definitely don't need traps. 29 bullets for two wagon wheel grease. Yeah. And then I'm gonna buy more bullets. 
That's a that's a good trade because the bullets are only fifty. <clears throat> bullets are seventy-five. Oh boy. Oh, I done screwed the pooch now. Oh shoot. Mm -mm -mm. This is not good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How much bait do we have? We had 25 bait, right? Oh, boy. Oh, I should have done math that up real good before doing that. All right, we're going to add some of that. We're going to add that. I can get one of these things. Let me get that. You wagon. Welp. You, you win some and you lose some, and it just so happens I don't lost a fair bit. Do I have enough for a bed? Hmm. I do have enough for a bed. Tag who needs math, English, or reading. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, alright. Let's begin the day anew. Lord have mercy on my soul. The final stretch through the snowy mountains to Oregon City. Avoid contracting dysentery and collect herbal remedies. 197 god dang mother flippin' miles. Berries, berries, berries. What the hell is this? Do, 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 do. Hygiene, you stinky little heathens. <clears throat> have you checked out High on Life? It's free on Game Pass and I... No, I, I have not yet. Y'all keep telling me about it, but where do I buy said game? High on life. It is not on Steam. Hmm. There's a VR porn game that shows up when I Google that. With some apprehension, the party surveys the imposing mountains ahead. The final stretch of the long trail to Oregon traverses daunting terrain, to be sure. Some stinky little bugs. High on Life is an Xbox exclusive. See, that explains a lot. The ground quickly grows wet and muddy under the relentless rain. The party trudges through the sticky muck. It's a wholly demoralizing and dirty experience, and the party begins to feel depressed and dirty. Per usual, stinky humans. After some time, the rain begins to clear, and the ground begins to dry, and the party can continue unimpeded. It is on Steam, but I can only find it going through their website. Super weird. Wagon condition minus four. It's because I forgot to lube it. Oh my god. While nothing is broken completely this time, the party should reconsider repairing. Yeah, repair the damage, Emily. Repair it so good. And then we're going to lube it up. Ooh, now she's a f level four carpenter, but lost a buttload of stamina. All right, we got to lube up the wagon. We literally bought all of the lube and then didn't use it. We traded our soul for this lube. Ooh, we can't grow at a grueling pace anymore. We got to go steady. Steady as it goes. Mm -mm. It's mature content, high on life on Steam. I think it might be my search terms for some reason. You probably have to change things. Fish team in the water. Go fishing, baby. <laughs> Gotta catch them thick fish. We're going for legendary fish only. 
good coffee. Oh, look! You actually make paths when you walk in the snow. How did I not notice that last time? Anybody got some sparkles? Hmm? Feeling sparkly? What if I go like this, right in the middle? Can I get a two-for-one special? Boom. I think I got a one-for-one one special. That's a 30-pound fish, though. God dang. Look at that freaking nasty eel-looking thing. Check the Discord. Linky dinky to the Steam game. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate you for saving me from my stupidity. Look at that long boy right there. What is that? Huh. I didn't think it was ever going to bite. The bowl trout. Five fish and 120 pounds. And we can just keep that as food now. Uh, do we go to the question mark or do we go to the hygiene place? We're getting a little stanky, and we don't have many clothes. Plenty of question marks that way and more fish. Let's keep going this way. The Blue Mountainous. Ah, Dude Bro McBroface is here. Howdy, good to see you. Nice to have some continuity out here. Oh, uh, I can't because I'm broker than a dollar store hooker at the moment. I'm sorry. Which is unfortunate because I could really use those bonus things. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, it's a grave! A bouquet of, <laughs> of wildflowers rests against a lone marker on the side of the trail. A fresh mound of earth beneath it, the surrounding grass barely recovered from a recent trampling. Something has been carved into the stone. Words for whoever lies below. Emily decides to approach. Of course. Of course she would. It reads, Our only child, Little Mary, <gasps> four years old. Emily's voice drops to a whisper as she reads the last words. How did Emily... How did... How did little Mary die? Oh, oh we deserve to be depressed. That's so sad. A frail monument. Congratulations! Screw you, game! Screw you in the face! What the hell? You didn't give her medicine, but we healed her. Oh, this game can suck a bag of dicks. Oh, piss off! You kill a child and then break my wagon? Oh, you game. You can s You suck. Now we're gonna use more wagon lube. The lube doesn't last long. Oh, the doggo's here. Hello, little puppers. Approach the bork bork. Give it a pet. You know what? Emily doesn't deserve to pet this thing. Misty does. The dog, as friendly as it looks, could be dangerous. We should approach the hound. Oh, Misty sucks! Misty Paranoid returns to the party, worried that a stray dog may carry deadly diseases or behave in an otherwise untoward manner to her. The dog, for its part, seems rather undisturbed by the mental conflict in Misty's mind. Perhaps somebody else could try. Emily, you got this. 
Wait, what about rabies? God, this party sucks! Kayla, can you pet the dog? Are you paranoid? Oh my god, thank you. Feed the dog. Wait, we're all paranoid. Oh, there we go. Our depression is finally being lifted. Jesus. Now pet it. Oh, a little happy wolf. Oh, and it licked us and we got dirty. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> it's only- it's only Kayla that got dirty, though. It's a good doggo. Now take it in the wagon? I wish we could. Dirt little heathens. Whoa. This campsite doesn't seem like it's fun. A small pool of water sits by the dilapidated campsite. The water is naturally insulated and in direct sunlight, and so may be warm enough to bathe in to restore some hygiene. Oh. Y'all stinky little creatures. I guess we'll wash. Mm -hmm. 10 hours. A 10 hour bath. God dang. <sighs> Which way do we want to go? This one restores food. We're going to go this way? That's a question mark. That might be a hunting ground. But we only have how many bullets? Three! Three bullets. A ten hour bath sounds sus. Very sus. Did you hear that? No. The wagon? No! Lube it up! Emily paranoid, forces the party to stop, refusing to go any further. The wagon is broken, I heard it! If we go any further, it'll collapse and we'll be stranded. We must fix it. Quote unquote, repair the wagon. Who should repair- let's let Emily repair the wagon. I'll have to do it myself. This party, I swear to God. Emily checks all sections of the wagon, making sure all is in order. Not at all to her surprise, she finds a faulty- a fault quickly and uses her expertise to fix the wagon. That was close. Perceptive ears, Emily. If you hadn't noticed, the wagon could have broken. Okay. Emily has, um, regained some faith in me and the party. For without Emily, we would surely meet our demise. Heck yeah, me. Look at these dirty little raccoons. Emily's a psychic? A wagon psychic? Hmm. Intriguing. Hey, Drea. What'd it do? Hey, hey, boo boo. I really can't. <sighs> no! No! Oh, there's my last bullet. God dang it, Bobby. God dang it. Oh, so stupid. Whack him with the gun. Yeah, I'm gonna fight a bear with an empty gun. Ugh. 16 hours lost for what? For what? Now we're doing on food. We got 532 pounds of meat. How much of that is fish? 95. We're, we're plowing through our fish for some reason. Why is that a thing? God, Misty! Oh, thank you, Misty, for not dying. Jesus. We got a lubed-up wagon in the cold. The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. 
Winter's in 29 days. We need to go on a grueling pace. 29 days until winter. We are going to be boned badly. We got to we got to quicken the pace. 28 days. Oh. We need to use some kafifi. Pulls it across the ever-changing ground. Oh my lord! Even a lubed up wagon can't save us from this tragedy. God dang it. Really? Lube is worthless. The lube literally lasts a day. The worst lube ever. Squirrel. Without any ammo, the only recourse is to try and gather some of the berries and fruit that the animals have been living on. After some time, Misty stumbles across some small purple berries. She gathers as many as she can and carries them to the wagon. Oh, we got 30 food for that. Okay. Okay. You think you got robbed, like, every night back in the day? I wonder if there's a more a Robbie version. Because we haven't gotten robbed at all, you're right. So there's gotta be something. Oh, is there more graves? The wagon trundles by a cluster of gravestones by the trailside, recently placed by the look of them. A solemn air impresses itself upon the party, the grim recognition of the trail's oft-fatal hardships. Just slipping all the way to the Oregon on wagon lube. Sometimes that's how it be. Is Fish Lady here? No. Um, fishing. Yeah. Yeah. There are a bunch of other game modes that we can try, though. Which should spice things up a little bit. The spice of life. That's a thick fish right there. Plus, there's a solid chance we're going to be in count. 40 pound sturgeon. 199 inches? How? That, that doesn't even make any sense. 109. That's like a 30 foot freaking fish. I know that's not how math works, but... Sixteen and a half feet. Big old fish. Man, what is with all these eels we be catching? Sturgeon can be that big. It's a thick boyo. I hope that dude that abandoned us at the beginning of the game died. Is that bad? Tagline to final finally catch a live stream again. Bronnie, how have you been? Hope you're doing well and thank you for bringing this game to my attention. I've been wanting to play the Oregon Trail for months. Hell yeah. I really wish I could do these shooting things, but we have no money. Plus, we have no time. I'm not traveling west for gold or land. I'm out for vengeance. My brother Joshua was ended by a low down snake of a man named Coogan. Coogan robbed Josh of a fob watch and just took him out. Right in front of his wife and kid. A watch, if you can believe it. 
That coward Coogan took away a father, a husband, and brother with one bullet. He's got a reckoning a coming. Maybe I'll see you at Fort Nez Perce. You can keep the silver dollar. The white sturgeon can grow 20 feet long and weigh more than 1,500 pounds. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Ah! The dude bros are here. Greetings, travelers! We saved quite a few of the dude bros today. We got $50 for that. Nice. We, last time we only saved like three, so we did better. We did better. Burp. Misty lets out a wheezing cough. The poor health is beginning to exact a toll. Wait, what? Misty has heard rumors of a local plant known as the Devil's Club. Crushed, its root and stem may be used as a poultice on wounds or ingested as a health tonic. There is no way in hell that our party is... Go Emily? Emily, are you going to save Misty's life right now? Oh my goodness, where is she going to die in the cold? Two hours. Did she find it? Regrettably, there is no devil's club to be found. Misty will need to seek healing elsewhere. Oh boy. Oh my god, she did it? No. No, she did not. I like that we have 609 pounds of food left. Oh. Come on, we're at the Blue Mountains. We can rest. Everything is good. I really wish we could heal Emily's stamina, though. We made it, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm doing so good. Who this is? Let's see if we can sell our fishes here. Despite the long, arduous journey, the travelers can't help but be awed by the majesty of nature. We got one harmonica. We gotta sell some fishes. Come on, Kayla, baby. Yes! Kayla, you beast! Boom. $380 make you hollers. Jacob Overlander. So there's no quests here for us. Trade supplies. Hopefully we can get some bullets. Or not. We're going to need some toolboxes, though. Two clothes, 64 flour, or one medicine? I mean, shoo! Who eats 16 pounds a day? I mean, when you're traveling west... I'm gonna go for the 57 flour. It's gonna go bad anyway, as well, the meat that we got. Actually, we're not gonna have a lot of meat left. Now that I think about it. Offers four medicines. Oh, Christ. What you want for that wheel grease? Oh my god. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh. Man, we really need to rest. I don't want to, though, because we only have 26 days left. We're only going to rest once. Yup. And then we gotta depart. We just can't. We really can't. <sighs> oh my god, yeah, because that's one, two, three, four days. Estimated arrival three days. We got wagon parts there. Double wagon parts. This is probably hunting grounds. If I were to guess. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. We're just doing straight through. We're going left. Tw 
25 days to winter, baby. Did we just have 600 pounds of food? Oh, those were all fish. Oh, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Oh, boy, oh. Actually, the wagon is already pretty garbungoed up. When checking the flower, Kayla knows that some of it has become waterlogged. Great! Fantastic! Uh, let's sift the flour. Four hours. <sighs> Lost three. Alright, we're gonna have to put them on a meager diet as well, for now. Nine pounds a day. Sixteen hours. We'll go twelve hours. Nope. Can't sacrifice four days. Mm-mm. Howdy, partner! Accept the challenge. Uh, actually, I have no bullets. Screw it. Screw it, we gotta help him out. A trial of speed. Um, speed. Four hours to sift 17 pounds of flour. Yeah, it's pretty BS if you're asking me. Alright, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy. Let's go, baby. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So we made 50 bucks, got plus one to our shooting, but we still have no bullets, so... That's a thing. Whatever is said might sway his decision one way or the other. We're gonna have Kayla do this. And you know what? We're not going to seek vengeance. Convince him to abandon his quest for vengeance. Three freaking hours. Kayla talks with the gunslinger for what seems like hours. Oh, it was. The man listens intently, and by the end, Kayla is fairly certain she has convinced him to give up his quest for violent revenge. I guess I got a load, a load of hard thinking to do. I'll see you at the Dales, where this is all settled one way or another. I hope he doesn't get murdered now. I would be so upset. This god dang wagon. Come on, Emily. You can repair four of the damage. Let's go, Emily. Let's go. Or three. We didn't lose anything. What broke? Oh my god, we are cruising for a bruising right now. Mm. We have to use a coffee. This game is basically Game of Thrones. Alright, we really need to steal a wheel. We're going to have Misty. Misty has full stamina. I need to use Emily, but... I'm hoping that we can get Misty and Kayla to take the majority of these pieces. There we go. And we're not even going to bother with the last piece, because the last piece is really the one that's going to screw us, so we're going to leave it. mark or bear hunting. We have no bullets. Christ. Yep. Alright, if I go to recover one stamina, that goes up to five days. But if we can just recover one stamina and then we'll go back to grueling. We gotta- this is a balancing act of time and stamina at the moment. Of course Emily doesn't recover stamina. You suck. 
Back to grueling. Where are we? No! No! Oh, how did we get lost? It becomes evident that Misty's paranoia has led the group astray. The group is now six hours off course. Emily, please, for the love of God, save us. I'll just get lost again. Oh my god. This whole party's gonna die in the freaking snow. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. We're out of energy. I can't. We have to go back to steady. And we can't go moose hunting here either. God, this would have been so good for us to be able to get some food stuffs there. <sighs> the real question is, why doesn't Emily regain stamina when we're on the, uh, the not grueling pace? Everybody else does. You've got to be kidding me. Jesus Christ. The snow drifts thickly over the stretch of trail, blanketing any grass and foliage. The oxen are finding it difficult to graze. If Oxen's feed is not supplemented with a hundred freaking foods. We cannot risk the Oxen perishing. We can survive. We will just have to go on a... We're already on a meager diet. I think we'll be okay. We have $488. We're heading to a fort. If we can trade there, then we're going to be fine. Sorry, buddy. We ain't helping. Injured woman, please, strangers, I need help. We were attacked by bandits and our wagon was destroyed. My horse and I survived, but I'm injured. You know what? We'll give one medicine and see if we get something in return. Thank you so much, strangers. You can't know what this means to me. Feel free to salvage what you can from the wagon. See? That was worth it. Inve Watch there be a freaking snake in it. We're gonna take a wheel. Come on, Misty. One wheel. Um, that's it. Cause we don't- we can't really spare the time. Alright, one day... We got 20 days. <laughs> oh my god. Emily loses her footing on a slippery patch of leaves and evergreen needles. Oh my god, with an almighty whack, her head collides with the wagon. Great! She's gonna have the dumbs now. The impact leaves a large lump and a briefly dizzy spell, but not much else. You have got to be kidding me. There's no way there's not much else. She's got the freaking brain worms now. Just in case. Has anyone played the new Planet Zoo DLC that released? I've been seeing which animals are in it. Ooh, I saw that there was a new one, but I have not played it. We've been two miles away for like 50 miles. Christ. Come on, we are here. We have... This is where we stonk up. And we're just going on a grueling pace the rest of the way. We're gonna fully repair the wagon. We have 19 days to get to Oregon, and we have... Literally, we have to go 16 hours a day, no matter what, or we're not gonna make it. Hey! Obviously, Emily isn't so smart. She's wearing half sleeves in the winter. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god, Kit Kat. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're fully bathing. We're fully healing. We're doing all of the things one should do on the final stretch to Oregon when you have this much money left. Everybody gets a bath. 
Everybody gets to rest. We gotta fully repair the wagon. Squeak Gaming, thank you for the three months. The real problem here is that Emily's stamina never fully regenerates. So we're constantly at a disadvantage with Emily at the moment. Come on, Martha. Fully repair wagon for 30 doll hairs. Perfect. Right, we're just gonna go to the store. Food. <gasps> they don't have meat? They don't have meat here? Mm-hmm. All right. Do they have bullets, at least? We're gonna get a knife. Mm, we're definitely gonna get coffee, because we're gonna need it. Uh, we'll get some shirts. Um, what else do we need? Repair kits, for sure. Some lube. The audacity. No meat, right? Um, some herbal remedies. Illness and injury, single use. I didn't get any lube. I know. We'll buy some lube. The lube has really not been helping us. To be fair. I don't know why it wasn't going to let us carry the meat. I cannot afford this. And- oh, it's out of stock. That's why. Um... I almost want to buy... some of these. I feel like we're going to need it. I mean, that's... That's a pretty good stock of things. Ooh, Kaylee, hell yeah. Two wheel grease, three kafifi. For 321 flour. Jesus Christ. Not worth it. Even if I haggle, it's not going to get low enough. But we definitely are going to need more wagon parts. For five toolboxes, for two clothes. And then I have just enough money to rest for one night. All goes according to plan. And we must depart. Yep. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Energy don't grow on trees, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah, we're going to the Dales. Alright, so it's gonna take three days to get here. If we go on a steady pace, that's six days. And we can rejuve- we're gonna go strenuous, so four days. Meat, meat, and fish? Yes. For sure. We don't- oh, we don't need money. We just need foodstuffs. You have got to be shitting on my face right now. Wagon condition minus five. Literally right out of the gates. We lost four hours. <laughs> my god.
<laughs> Gotta be kidding me. What luck. What in tarnation? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, we only have six bait left. That's no bueno. Plenty of room for fish when we get to fishing. Plenty of room for fish and meat. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Never mind. We got more bait. Jesus Christ. Oh, my fingers. What? the hell? Emily shivers with pain. Frostbite has begun to grip her fingers. They must be warmed at once to avoid further injury and it will not be long before the rest of the party suffers similar effects. What should be done? Use one clothes for Emily. <sighs> Emily. Oh my god, the wagon. Okay, we gotta lube it up. This is ridiculous. Frickin' God dang it, Bobby. All right, did we regain some stamina? No. All right, so now we need to go on a steady pace, or we're boned. We have 17 days. Infernal, thank you for becoming a bean. Welcome to the community. Party seems eagerly- we literally- <sighs> Emily's got a keen eye, but she's also paranoid, which means she probably won't freaking pick them. Oh. Whether through pure intuition or practical skill, Emily collects an abundance of wild berries. Oh! Dang! Let's go, Emily! God dang! The hunting is ideally suited to those- yeah, Emily's our best hunter. But she also has the least amount of stamina. It's really not worth killing these foxes, though. I probably should have just skipped this one. Oh my god. It's a bloody massacre. Oh, I'm so sorry. Got 90 pounds of meat, though. And we have a knife. So we got 50 pounds of meat for nine bullets. Not the best. We're just gonna... We're gonna ignore the pelts. We don't need them, because we can't sacrifice the time. We're gonna go moose hunting, though. Which means... We can really go on a filling in steady pace. We need to rejuvenate stamina. Mmm. Great, we gotta get rid of some flour. Uh, cook, sift the flour, discard 20. We don't have time to waste. We got plenty of food. some rabbits, baby. Moose. All right, we are going to use Misty this time. Misty's always got full stamina, so. Oh, tag not preparing for the toll road or the Colorado River. Oh. Oh, boy. I forgot we needed money for the toll road. Shoot. Oh, the freaking moose. The moose is loose. Got it right in the balloon knot. Oh, 
All right, well, we're getting pelts from this one. This is going to give us 12 pelts. 130 meats. Uh, obtain pelts. And we're going to use the, the kniffy. 12 freaking pelts. Then we're going to get fish here, which is we're going to use for the toll road. Look, I did plan this. Excuse me. I 100% planned this. I have the biggest, wrinkliest of brains. And I knew exactly what we needed. Oh no. The back wheel catches on one of the trail's myriad ruts. It sticks and jams fast. It will move no further. We'll be ambushed. Uh, unpack some. One freaking day lost to unpack part of the freaking wagon. You suck. We gotta go grueling. We're gonna get a kafifi. God, we have 13 days. This crew is so slow at their tasks. It is painful. Oh my god. We finally have the challenge? Oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, Misty. We're gonna get money and fish from this. Which means double the money, double the fun. Oh, there's a thick boy! That should be a sturgeon right there. How big of a sturgeon? We don't know. Or a bull trout. 36 freaking inches of fish. Mm, 46 inches. God dang. Oh, Lady Star, hope you have a good day. Whoa, 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 Continue. You can only carry 80 pounds of fish? What in Sam hell is this? I've never gotten excellent before, and I would very much like to. Just need like a trophy quality fish somewhere, you know? Is this a frog probably? Yup. Oh. I can't tell if that's a real bird or a bird in the game. I keep hearing a bird. Can y'all hear like a really realistic bird or is there a bird outside my window? All right, I think we did pretty okay. How'd we do? Oh. What do we need like 10,000 for excellent? Mm. Using the knife on that is not worth it. Holy guacamole, Batman. Oh, boy. 
wow, we are thick! Why can't I stack these things, though, is the real question. We don't need the fish traps, they're not worth it. Um, we definitely need these. We don't need this. I don't think we want- we don't need the fish traps, even though that'll be decent for money in the future. Um... Squirt that up there, push that here, blink that right there. We really don't need the- I'm almost wondering if getting rid of the 42 flower might actually be good for the fish traps. I'm gonna keep it though just in case we find a good trade for flour. Yep. Holy guacamole Batman. Oh, the gunslinger's up ahead. What'd he do? What'd he do? What'd he do? I found Coogan. I had him dead to rights, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't pull the trigger. Make myself the kind of man he is. At least I got the watch back. I was mad as hell, but ending Coogan would have cost me my soul. Mary and little Charlotte need me back on the plantation in Louisiana. So that's where I'm headed. It's what Josh would have wanted, and where I, where I should have stayed all along. Thanks for your company and your advice. I hope you get to wherever you're headed safe and sound. Take these, I don't need them anymore. 30 bullets. I can't even carry them. Mm. So we finished both versions of that. Man, it's November 4th. The wagon lurches wildly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kayla's got a broken freaking like we were literally right there. Kayla. Uh, just a couple miles to safety. Jesus Christ. 11 day broken leg. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Kayla. Freaking Kayla. 42 days! Holy shiitake mushrooms. Oh my god, there goes the wagon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what in Sam hell is going on? Jesus Christ. Three miles. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a stream later? Um, we might play that new game later today. I don't exactly know what the plan is for the day. I still have some, like, Christmas stuff to get done. Um, and all of that, but I think we should have time later today. The real problem is just Emily at this point being so freaking slow, but I think we're just going to make it. Maybe. Okay. I think we have enough time to be able to rest. Problem is we... Well, we got one coffee. Hmm. We can trade. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we really needed this money. 
$110. That's gonna get us through the pass. We still need the Among Us update? Yes, I think we're gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, Stamp Stamp said she's gonna work on getting that all set up for us. Offers one coffee, two medicine, five toolboxes. Kayla is a champion right now. A champion among champions. 22 bait. Easy deal. One coffee for three clothes? Or 17 bullets? Okay. This guy has reasonable prices for the coffee. I mean, it's only one coffee. But I will definitely use... I'll trade 15 bolts. We got plenty of bullets. I said that last time. This shouldn't be past your pharmacist, or at least me. Definitely tells their techs, I'm off to stab people anytime they are giving a vaccine. Stabbing legally gives life and all the antibodies. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's great. Tay Tay, thank you so much for the super chat. Lord hath mercy. We're gonna need the medicine. Because of Kayla's broken freaking leg. I'm a fun pharmacist. Um, ooh, 99 meat or 29 bait. God, how much bait do I have left? Mmm, we got plenty of bait. We also have plenty of flour. Plenty of meat. Offers one guidebook? Wait, 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 where'd the things go? Ah, oh, you suck! A harmonica! Where's my medicine? Oh, I'm a fun pharmacist. Yes. Oh, can we rest? We need to rest. Mm. We have to. Oh, Christ. Ten days left. For one stamina. Emily. God dang it, Emily. And we might have to sacrifice Emily. Oh, shoot. Okay. It may have to be done. After months of travel, the group must resolve on a final approach to Oregon. Will they venture north and brave the Columbia River Rapids, or south along the Overland Route via the Barlow Toll Road? The party weighs their options soberly. I think we have enough money for the toll road. The Columbia River seems an awfully treacherous route. Which do we- you know what? I'm gonna let y'all pick. My fate is in your hands. Which route should we take? Take the river. Take the toll road. Why wouldn't the Ghostbusters ever finish Oregon Trail? Because they couldn't cross the streams. Oh my god, Megan. Well done! That's a good one. Pay the troll toll? Hmm. How much is the toll? I think we have enough money for it. You literally died to death on the river? <laughs> the texts de have definitely told me, wait, what? And I reiterate, I'm stabbing people, but they like me after that, so haha, <laughs> I'm fun. I would say yes. I would agree with that. You gotta be able to have fun at work, right? You got to. What is this? The troll toll? It looks like the toll road is at 66%. 137 votes for the troll toll. Your party dies walking on flat surface. Let money be problems this time. Alright. The troll toll it is. 
It is agreed the Barlow Toll Road seems far safer route. Ten days, a broken freaking leg, and a biggly wiggly struggle lies ahead. To get in this boy's soul? Yeah, you gotta pay the troll toll to get in this boy's soul. Are your cats making too much noise all the time? Yes. Cats are doing cat things at all times. Pay fifty dollars! Y'all lame for playing it safe. Are we, though? This recovers health. We don't need that. Frickin' squirrel root. Grass. Maybe the bison. We don't have any animal exhaustion at the moment, though. We could rest. I don't think that'll let us rest there. We're gonna go for the bison. Alright, we are still at a grueling pace. Three days, four days. We're gonna go strenuous. Is it five days? Hmm. Strenuous. Did we buy any lube? No. No. We have zero lube in this town. The snow falls in over the party, soaking their clothes and gathering in their boots, cold, wet, and sodden. The party fears the onset of sickness. Great! Not in my town, baby! You know what? Kayla can survive that broken leg. I think she'll be okay. I'm not using my medicine yet. A freaking horse? A horse? Horses? The party comes across a field of lush grass. Yes, let's rest. We can sacrifice one day for rest. Unless we get lost. Did anybody rejuvenate stamina or anything? No, I don't think they did. We're going back to grueling. And we're gonna use a kafifi. You have gotta be kidding me. And our tools fell out. I think we're Gucci though. I'm no like Oregon Trail scientist or anything, but I'm feeling pretty A-OK -okay about Ooh, what is that? The wagon trundles by a cluster of gravestones by the trailside. Recently placed by look of them, a solemn air impresses itself upon the party of the grim recognition of the trail's oft-fatal hardships. Just so you know, the true Aragon fashion, my plushie rolled off my bed and knocked my cup of water over this morning. Oh my god. His chaotic energy has entered into the plushies. We don't need to hunt. We could just need to continue on. Straight cruising, baby. Raccoons aren't worth murdering when we have eight days left. Just got my super soft Wreck the Halls hoodie in today. I love it. Can't wait to wear it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so happy you're getting the merching. It's so exciting. Come on, Emily. Save the day, baby. Oh my lord. Hold on, this item has to be... This cannot use the item at this time of the event. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. And the game's like, you can't be thinking ahead like this! By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't checked out the new merch yet, um, I highly recommend it. Um, if you go to tagbacktv.com. You know, I haven't been doing a good job. I'm going to post it in here. Uh, get 
the new merch now. Boop. Use code McThickums for 5% off. Boop. And pin. I think we can push on. I think we're good. We're just so close to winter that we just need to keep going. At all, at all costs. Do you want me to stab people, Tag? Because I can. They might need a good stabbing. I mean, we're eight miles away. You know what? And just for this, for this last eight miles to Oregon, I'm going to let them have a nice steady pace, filling all up with food. And ladies and gentle people, we somehow made it to Oregon. We somehow almost died three feet from Oregon. The relentless snow builds up as the party walks. The frigid trudge becomes more and more arduous, draining the party of their energy. I swear to God. I swear to God! Ariel, thank you so much for becoming a bean. Or downgrading to a bean, or something happened. We are so very close. You know what? Kayla's gonna get healed of a broken leg. Ish. You can smell Oregon, but you cannot reach it. There's something up ahead. A giant freaking moose. Holy guacamole, Batman. With literally the worst party we could have ever picked, we have officially made it to Oregon. Wow. Jesus Christ. This should make an after the Oregon Trail game where you have to survive off the land and build your cabin. That's a lot like the game that I wanted to make. I actually was talking about it all last year about it. 148 days. We did it, baby. What was our score? Skill checks, stats revealed, quests completed, fish caught, animals collected, events accounted, hunting accuracy 75%, food consumed a lot. Survived and reached Oregon, contracted illnesses one time, cholera, and a broken leg. Spends every day in Oregon fishing in the local river. Tiffany. Oh, sucks. Whereabouts Kansas River Crossing? Hopefully dead. Kayla. Got a fever and cholera. Inflicted with three broken legs. And whereabouts wrote a popular book about the journey to Oregon. And Misty. She got an infection and a snake bite and decided to start a business shoeing horses and fixing wagons. Interesting. I told you I was going to make it out of sheer stubbornness to be annoying, but you really should have just chopped off my legs early on. It's true. It's true. Wow. We scored a 19,000 that time. That's 10,000 more points than our first time. Mmm. Master Traveler, Greenhorn Wayfarer? What is this? An Adept Wayfarer? Oh, baby. We need a score of 80,000 to become an expert. Ems, thank you for the super chat. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a review. Oh, hell yeah. Game completion, 33%. Wow. Ooh, it's not over yet. Trail at the next journey, the nature trail. Draft an eager party, enjoy the journey along with the Oregon Trail is more peaceful way. Puh! Fewer hardships? No. Uh-uh, five out of 14 journeys. I bet there's an even more difficult version that we just haven't unlocked yet. Hmm. So 
So that's a main journey. We've got Quick Start. We've got Sightseer. We've got a Scenic Journey. We completed the Wagon Leader. The California Trail. Complete a Fur Trade. Pushed Quest. Hmm. What's this button do? Oh. Oh. The Lost Hollow, huh? Whoops. Survive until help arrives. Hmm. Tay -tay, stab, stab, Tay Tay. Oh my god. <laughs> Sarah, how are you? So these are journeys survive and challenge. The winter migration, nature's trail, the tranquil trail, Oregon or bust. Complete a fur trade. Where is that? A more difficult journey. Do snakes get guns? <laughs> ah, yes. Snakes with guns. Oh, so we have to complete a winter migration for that one. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Who knew they had so many challenges? Right? 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 It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, what other things? I know if we go back, there's the weekly challenges, the weekly events. So we have a community goal, build the railroad. Quick play, gone fishing, contracts, how the wind blows. So this unlocks things. What is this? Oh, difficulty wagon leader can only move or rotate items at shops. Wow. The party must use the wind wagon, the wind wagon. And it's always windy. Oh my god. Hmm. Do we have time for this? This this one does sound fun. You've done this one, it sucks. Do it. Signed up for a contract, did you? These are special jobs you can take to help immigrants with their unusual circumstances who need an extra hand. They want someone with more experience on the trail to guide them, someone like you. Why don't you take a look at what I've got available this week? You might find this job interesting. Oh, I thought, I thought this said misogynist, not missionary. <laughs> We've got Carpenter, Messy and Kind. A Banker, Funny and Optimistic. You know what, Maggie? I like you. Egotistical and brilliant, though. I'll take the extra money. Frail and Brilliant? No. Oh. Wily and Egotistical. Religious and Hedonistic. Wait, what? How does that work? A musician? Believes that the pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life, guided by spiritual belief. Keeps morale high by performing popular songs. Physically weak and prone to tiredness? How about no? We're, we're gonna have to go with Helen. Hedonistic and athletic? Ooh, hello, Otto. Heroic and frail? How does that work? Healthy, strong, and enjoys physical activities. All right, mountain man. Messy and hedonistic. Great. Hasn't bathed in weeks, at least. Oh, God, this is a terrible party, but we need a carpenter. Lord hath mercy on our souls. All right. We're we got Rose... We got Kieran. We got... Whoops. Stabby McStabberson. Ah, uh, Stabby McStabbers, that's Tay Tay right there. They got a knife too, which is great. And then Natalie. Oh my goodness. Wait, is there booze in there? Nitroglycerin? No, 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 no. 
<laughs> no. Buncat, thank you for the two months. 50 bullets, 10 clothes, 3 medicine, 3 nitroglycerin, 3 dew boxes, and 200 meat. Danger zone. You know what? We're taking the nitro. Oh, there's a big hole in here. That's weird. The freaking wind wagon. My lord. I mean, we have enough money for more meat. I think the wind wagon's gonna need some lube. We'll buy some of that. Yeah. That'll do. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. Lube and wind. <laughs> what could go wrong? Exactly. Hold up a moment. Are you carrying nitroglycerin with you? Sure, it's useful, but also dangerous as all get out. Make sure you don't bunch it all together and definitely don't drop it. Better yet, find yourself a trained prospector next time. Best of luck to you. God dang it. Oh, we're boned in so many different ways. Holy guacamole. The American Falls! We gonna falls down. Christ. Alright, we're gonna lube the wagon. A lubed wagon is a good lab wagon. A lubed wagon is a happy wagon when it's air powered. Oh my god, okay. Avoid a broken leg. Impossible. We got three days of lube. Oh my god, freaking Natalie shot herself. How? Do I even have medicine? Stabby McStabbers, are you a good thing person? Kieran, what do you got? Christ. All right, Kieran's not good at healing things. Unfortunately, the bandages can barely stem the flow of blood. Natalie will need further medical attention, perhaps a freaking miracle. Great! Good job, Natalie. Good job. Whoa, a white bison. Hot, fellows! Y'all shalt go no further! Affliction most foul hath cursed me, one of insufficient inspiration. You know what? Um, as a reward, I shall let you pass unimpeded. How does one become unimpeded? Wh wait! Where go ye? Why dost ye flee? I need your assistance! Fine. Literally all we've done was shoot ourselves in the leg. You know what? And Natalie gets to tell this story. Once upon a time, I shot myself in the foot because I'm stupid. My god. Fish team in the water. Craft some bait. Uh... Well... We ain't got no bait. Snake. The wagon lurches wildly, its wheels 
failing to find purchase on the- oh, great. Oh my god! Natalie's got a broken leg and a gunshot wound. Holy guacamole, Batman. Oh, no! Oh. Natalie. Natalie, why are you like this? How is this even possible? Oh my god. Gunshot wound, six days. Alright, let's at least heal the gunshot wound. My god, can we play the song of our people or something? I'm scared of the nitro? Me too! Me too. We're gonna need Stabby McStabberson to stab Natalie in a moment. Oh god. Horse person. Who needs legs? Not I. The sound of churning water reaches the party's ears. The American Falls lies close ahead, breaking the back of Snake River. Well, we did none of the things that we needed to do here. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger today. I doth hope you all enjoyed today's Oregon Trail stream. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. Also, please make sure to check out the merch store. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, but I do hope you all have a fan-freaking-tastic day, and I'll see you